Hi everyone, my name is Erkin Yücel and I am an R&D engineer at Global Dynamic Systems. Today, I would like to show you the assessment module for Ship Engine Room Simulator SERS software. This assessment module comes with two different parts. First part is the trainee side and the second part is the instructor side. I have started the software of instructor and the trainee in the same computer so I will be able to switch the screens of these two. What you see here is the trainee screen. As you can see I have logged into the software as a trainee and I can switch to instructors assessment panel too. This user interface allows the instructor to set up the exercise, review and start and assign to ex ex exercise to selected students and also monitor the progress of each student. The instructor will start with typing the name and the table below is the predefined uh, list of exercises. Some of these exercises can be done in cold ship. They focus on lining up systems in the engine room. Some of these exercises focus on the maneuvering operations and change over from maneuvering to navigation mode. Some of these exercises can be done in navigation mode. And last 5 to 10 exercises can be done in pretty much any initial condition, such as maneuvering, navigation, or anchorage. This list, selecting one exercise from this list populates the specific tasks for each of these exercises as well as prerequisites and objective of the exercise on the center of the page. You can see there are seven specific tasks for exercise number one. And also this module allows the instructor to select which student to send the exercise. Here is a list of the search stations for each student and I will be using the local station for this video and also this predefined exercises come with the allowed time and the instructor is able to change the allowed time for each of these exercises. Also instructor is able to select more than one exercise. As you can see I will now select exercise number one and two and this populates the specific tasks for exercise number one and two as well as prerequisites and the objectives of them and also it adds up the allowed time of each exercise the each exercises and again i'm able to change the allowed time as the instructor And the right side of this instructor panel is the monitoring of the student's progress. Here's a list of the each search stations for each student. And I will select the local computer here. And now I am able to monitor the condition of the exercise. For the sake of this video, I will select number three and number four exercises and send, uh, send this exercise to trainee at, at this local computer. I will set the allowed time to 25 minutes and I will assign the exercise with this assign exercise button. And now I will switch to student side. As you can see this assessment module is flashing up. I will click the assessment module and the student can see that the instructor sent exercise number three and four as the task and the, here are the specific tasks for these exercises. Right now the condition of the assignment says sent to search station, this assignment sent to the student and it's waiting for the student's approval. As the student I will acknowledge the assignment and this will start the timing of the training. And you can see that assignment status changed in progress. 
I will switch back to student side and start performing the exercise. For example, specific task number one says line up start air system for diesel generator number one. I will switch the diesel generator number one and these are the tasks these are the screen that I will be performing my tasks on and I will start with lining up the compressed air system. I have already lined up the emergency bus bar system so I am able to operate auxiliary air compressor and I am now able to supply this start air to diesel generator number one. I will increase the simulator speed for the sake of this video and maintain over seven bars of pressure in the air receiver. I will now switch the diesel generator and supply this air pressure to diesel generator number one. It looks like I have completed assignment number one the specific step number one for the assignment I will go check and the current value of the startup system is 7.9 bar which says the status is true that means as the student I am now able to obtain 20 points for this step and as you can see instructor can monitor the students progress and instructor can see that the current value for diesel generator number one start air pressure is over nine bars which turns the status true and the student gained 20 points for this step I will switch to trainee side it says line up lubricating oil system for diesel generator number one I will switch to diesel generator number one screen and line up the lubricating oil system. I have lined up the lubricating oil system for diesel generator and I have obtained 15 points for step number two. Step number three that says line up cooling system for diesel generator number one. The, con the current value condition is false right now and I will line up the cooling system for diesel generator number one. First I will supply seawater, line up seawater cooling system for diesel generator and also fresh water system. By this way I have completed lining up cooling system for diesel generator number one and this gives me 20 points too. I will switch to step number four. I will line up fuel oil system for diesel generator number one. I will start the diesel generator with diesel oil. And I am starting the fuel pump and I have supplied fuel to diesel generator number one which gives me around eight bars of pressure here and 8.5 bar is enough for fuel oil system and this gives me 20 points for this step Let's assume that I was not able to continue more of these steps and I ended the assignment here obtaining 44% of the points possible from this assessment and I'm now completing the assignment. From the instructor's side, the instructor can see that assignment is completed by the student and student was only able to perform 44% of the exercise out of 120, 115 points to 60 possible. Let's say the student fail to complete the exercise
and this is the note from the instructor what 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 is special about this assessment module is that this module allows the instructor to create a report for the each student and save those reports also with the with this condition of this exercise number 3 and 4 for the student at this local computer i will generate a report and display that report in my browser as you can see this report populates the information about the student, the ID number, objectives that are assigned to student, and the time passed for the student with the assignment, and also each step current value and if the criteria met for these steps. And at the bottom of this page, you can see that student was able to obtain 115 points out of 260 points which is 44 percent of this assignment and also it includes in includes the notes for the student that's all for this assessment module for this video I'm looking forward to telling you more about this assessment module in the future